All right, it's time for an oil change. This is gonna require a Torx 25 bit. There are 15 bolts, I believe, for the under tray. And now we have these two. Alright, now that I got all the torques 25 bits out, that was important. Now that I got all the 25 uh, torques 25 bits screws out, I can take out. Uh, now I got everything unscrewed, I can pop any of these plastic holders. tool for this, but let's see if it'll work. All right, so for this oil change, we're gonna need 4.7 quarts, uh, a new one-time use drain plug, and an oil filter. All right, so the drain plug is actually pretty conveniently close up to the driver's side front. So, just need a flat head. Quarter turn. Just let it drain. So this oil is actually really dirty. Uh, I ran it for 10,000 miles since the last dealer oil change. All right, so we're gonna pop the hood so we can get to the filter and drain the rest of the oil out. All right, so uh, oil filter and the uh, fill is underneath this. So we're gonna pull it off. Pull off this cover. Then we got the oil filter here and the fill. Let's open the fill so it can drain. So this is a 25 millimeter, but don't have one, so I'm just gonna use a crescent wrench. Shouldn't be too tight anyways. 
and once I get that off, I should be able to do the rest by hand. Or not. Let that oil drain a bit to the bottom. Oh, crap. That's not good. I'm going to take this rubber gasket off and replace it with a new one. Some little bit of oil on it. And tighten mostly by hand. Plug back in at the bottom. Right, open this up. And simple as that. Now, just fill the oil.
so I drove the car around and uh, basically turned it off. And then when you turn it on, you can go into your vehicle settings, oil measurement, and then I'll show you. So I got to top it off a little bit, but pretty much there. Thanks for watching. Okay, so finally, messing with the Autel, I uh, was able to go through the settings page. I'll just start adding some screenshots over here. It's pretty simple. Uh, once you find the right settings, you can just do an auto oil reset. And basically it asks if you did any other bigger maintenance or just a simple oil service. I just did an oil service, so I reset it. Now, whenever I turn the car on, it's not there anymore. So looked like everything worked and actually was not that bad and saved a ton of money than going to the dealership. All right, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.